Hello and welcome to this tutorial for the board game Patchwork. I think most players know this game and know how to play it. But there's a first time for everyone, so thank you for letting me explain it to you. And I hope you will like this game. It's for two players only, no more. Here's how you play Patchwork. You are going to keep playing until both players are in the center of the board. During the game you'll be moving along this track all the way to the middle. When you have both gotten all the way here to the center, the game is over. Whoever has the most buttons wins the game. You get all the buttons during the game. You get them when you step over a button icon on the board. You can see them here. There's one right before you walk into the middle, so just before the game ends you get some more buttons. So you have all your buttons. And then you must count all the empty spaces on your board. How many squares did you not cover up with one of the pieces? You get two minus points for each empty space. You pay those buttons back to the bank. After this, whoever has the most buttons left wins the game. If you play this game for the first time, you will probably have less than zero buttons left. It happened to me and to basically everyone I know. On your first game you probably get a minus score. Still, whoever has the best score wins the game. So, a recap. You keep playing until you are both in the middle, then you have all your buttons and you have to pay back two buttons for every empty space on your own player board. Whoever has the best score wins the game. That's it. Now, let's get to the easiest part. How do you play the game? What do you do when it's your turn? Step 1. Pick a piece from the, pit, from the table. Step 2. Pay for that piece with your buttons. Step 3. Place that piece on your board immediately. Step 4. Move your player token forward as many spaces as the piece tells you to. Pick a piece, pay for it, place it, and then move forward. That's it. That's how you play patchwork. Let's do one as an example. Step 1. Pick a piece. Can you just pick any piece that's on the table? No, that would make it too easy. You see this wooden marker here. You can choose one piece from the three pieces that are clockwise of the wooden marker. This is clockwise, so I can choose this piece, or this piece, or this piece. These three are the only ones I can choose from. I choose this one. I take it and put the wooden marker in that space. So the other player can choose from one of these three when it's his or her turn. Step 2. Pay for that piece using your buttons. If you look closely at the piece that I just chose, you can see there is a button icon on it and this number next to it. That means I have to pay this many buttons. So I take those buttons from my own supply and put them back in the bank. If you don't have enough buttons, you can't take the piece, of course. Step 3. Place the piece. I can now put this piece anywhere I like on my own board. The only thing I'm not allowed to do is place it on top of another piece. But other than that, I can do whatever I want. I can put it like this, 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 or this. I can even flip it around if I want. I will put this piece here. Once I've done that, I'm not allowed to move it later. 
Once you've placed it, you can't take it back. Step 4. Move your player token forward. As you remember, the game is over when both players are in the center of the board. So at some point, you know you have to move, otherwise the game is never over. If you look closely at the piece that I just placed on my board, you see that the button icon you already know is there, but it also has this icon. It's an hourglass and it also has a number next to it. That means when I have placed this piece on my own board, I have to move my player token forward this many spaces. This is what this piece says, so I move my player token forward this many spaces on the main board. And that's it. Pick a piece, one of the three in front of the wooden marker, pay for it with your buttons, place it on your board, and then look at the other icon to see how many steps you have to move forward. I've got four small details for you, and then you know all there is to play patchwork. You now know exactly what to do when it's your turn. But when is it your turn? The game is for two players only, so there are, al are also two player tokens on the board here. The player that is the furthest behind on the track gets to go next. So, if you are in the back, it's your turn. But what happens if you move forward and you happen to end up right on top of the other player? Well, then it's your turn again. If you are on top of the other player, it's your turn. Next detail. But you already might remember this one. On the main board you can see there are also some button icons. This means you get buttons. And you get as many buttons as you can count on your own player board. Let's pretend I move forward six spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six. I've just gone past one of those buttons on the board. That means I get to take buttons from the bank. It's like taking income. So I look at my own board, I count all the buttons I can see. I've got this many buttons. So I take that many buttons from the bank. And you can use those buttons to buy more pieces. Move over a button means you get to take buttons from the bank. Detail number three. But what happens when it's your turn and you don't have enough buttons to buy any pieces? Or maybe you don't feel like getting a new piece. When it's your turn, it's up to you to decide what you want to do. In that case, you can pass. If you want to, or if you have to, you can pass when it's your turn. Then you move your player token to one space in front of the other player. For example, the other player is here. So I go one, two, three. I chose to pass and I moved three spaces, and that gives me three buttons from the bank. Again, when it's your turn, you can choose to pass, you move in front of the other player, and then take as many buttons as you have moved on the board. Last detail. You can see these little squares on the main board. Simple rule. If you step over one of these pieces, you take it from the board and you place it on your own board. You must do that. If you don't place it, you have to discard it. So, whoever steps over this first gets to take this piece. And done! I won't recap anything. 
I think you're good to go to give it your first try. And I hope you enjoy it. Don't worry if at the end of the game your score is lower than zero. It happens to most people, as long as you had a nice time. And you also see this tile here that I didn't speak about, 7x7. Seven seven. Look it up in the rulebook, it's real easy. You'll learn it in a second. Thank you for watching this video, and see you for the next one.